Jordan's obviously known for playing with the Chicago Bulls, but what if we put him in the G League for the Windy City Bulls? We both know what happens next. And of course it's Jordan, he's gonna win the G League Championship. But today we're preying on his downfall, cause every season we're adding a new NBA legend to see if they can take him down. Can we start off with like Kobe or LeBron or something like that? Number five, Westbrook? He didn't stand a chance, Jordan won the championship. Bro, how does he jump up like this? He went into the animation, how did he do that? Jordan already has two championships, but his next opponent would be someone who's extremely familiar. So hopefully we get someone good, we'll go eight because I'm praying for Kobe, but no. We're gonna see if Scotty can be the one to take down Jordan. And we all know scotty has been overshadowed by Jordan. He's even taken some shots at him after retirement. And on top of all of that, the two of them have some very interesting family dynamics. Right now, Scotty has a great chance to show the world that he's not just just a sidekick and he's down 3-2. All right, so all of that, it's not looking good for Scotty. And to make matters even worse, I can't even describe what's about to happen next. What is this, bro? 2K. Jordan has just won his third championship. Honestly, I don't even care about Scotty at this point. No offense. I just want to get out of this arena, bro, because I can't watch this. Jordan now has three championships, and unfortunately, MVP Russ and Pippen were kind of a disaster. We're on selection number three, and we really need someone who could compete. Give me LeBron or something, bro. Okay, Larry Bird. Larry Bird might be able to take him down. Prime Larry Bird. Larry would be sent down to the main Celtics, and because he's in the modern era, he's shooting even more threes than before. He won it again. He won it again. Nobody's beating him. He's won every single time. Larry and Jordan would meet in the second round of the playoffs, but for some reason, I was very skeptical. How bad are Larry Bird's teammates for him to be the fourth seed? Like, shouldn't he be? Shouldn't he be the second? But at the end of the day, it's the G League, and the best star is going to win. And for the first two games of the series, it was all Jordan. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. Nobody's gonna touch this guy for the whole video. And unfortunately for Larry, back in Maine, it would still be the Jordan show. Oh my god, bro. He cooked him by 30 points, bro. What did he put up, bro? He put up 44 thirds and 14 with 10 steals. What did Larry do, bro? Larry had 32, 2, 4, 3. Boring. It's safe to say Jordan's putting the clamps on Larry, but somehow, miraculously, he was able to avoid the sweep. He finally did something. Oh my god, bro. But game five would be played on Jordan's home court, and at this point, he wants to get the series over with. He would have 48 points in the closeout game. After this bucket, 50. They throw it down to him in the post, and he's just gonna put it up over the double team. Nobody can stop him, bro. It's over. It's over. And just like that, Jordan's moving on to the second round. Larry Bird, mission failed. And as you would expect, Jordan will win championship number four. At this point, I don't know if anyone can beat him. But to help out, I've shrunken the board down to our best four options. LeBron or Kobe? LeBron or Kobe? LeBron. Okay, LeBron. Please. I'm putting LeBron on the South Bay Lakers. I could have put him on whatever the Cavs G League team is, or even the Heats, but I want to put him in South Bay so he could meet Jordan in the finals. And of course, LeBron will go to work. 46, 10, and 5. He's easily the best player we've added so far. But the regular season doesn't really matter. We have LeBron and Jordan in the G League finals. But but there's a problem. I'm a little concerned the G League Conference Finals. LeBron almost lost to Westbrook, which I know it's MVP Westbrook, not current Westbrook, but that's still not a good feeling. To start the series, it would be Jordan with home court advantage, but LeBron would show out enough to have the chance to steal game one. LeBron, you have to take every shot, please, bro. You're in the G League. Oh my God, what a pass and what a steal. That was the greatest bad pass I've ever seen in my life. They throw it down. Oh my God. Yep, that's the G League. They set a screen for Jordan. Jordan on the ISO. They send a double team. Jordan passes it out, and I'm assuming, oh my God, they throw the, what the, how did he get that pass off. Jordan has 68 total. I knew I was going to see some crazy stats. I didn't expect that. They throw it down to LeBron. No double team. Not yet, at least. And LeBron with the spin. LeBron goes all the way around. He passes it over to the center. He hits the... Bro, why don't you just... LeBron, put the ball up, bro. Somebody on Jordan's team is really selling for him to have 68 and almost be losing like that. And he misses the wide open. Oh my god. LeBron, 31 seconds left. Passing it over to... Who is that? Who? Bro, LeBron. Oh my god. He's folding, bro. And I know that's not Jordan at the line. Is that Cody Martin? Caleb Martin, one of the two. He makes the first. It's a three-point game. I really wish we could see Jordan at the line right now. And he almost missed the second free throw. LeBron down four on the brink of losing game one. Throw it into LeBron. Throw it into LeBron. Throw it into LeBron. Nope. Anybody, they don't. They throw it to Lily. I don't know why. That was the worst pass of all time. Jordan's going to the line. If he hits both, he has 70. Yep. And the second free throw. That one's off. All right, man. And they don't even get the rebound. I swear, bro. The computer already. The computer in 2K. I, you know what's really dumb? I was gonna say the computer is dumb, but that camera angle was terrible. That was point number 70. We didn't even see that. Now he has 71. And that would pretty much be it for game one. LeBron put up as good a fight as anybody so far, but he still lost. Jordan, that's an absolutely disgusting stat line, bro. And fortunately for him, he was able to keep it up in game two. But it would be at LeBron's expense. It wasn't even close. Oh my god, bro. He's killing him. He killed him. 40 point win. But LeBron would thankfully bounce back in game two with 46 points. 
points of his own. Two to one series, he can come back from this. But unfortunately, game four, specifically the last 15 seconds were a disaster. They pass it off to Jordan. Jordan with the ball. Jordan with the double team. He passes it off to the corner. He missed that. Oh my God, no, he made it. And Windy City takes the lead. I'm gonna be honest, I had no faith in that guy to hit that shot. LeBron, 14 seconds left. Your legacy is on the line, your G League legacy. You don't even have Jordan on you, so you have to take this shot, man. But once again, I was reminded that we're in the G League. Pass it to LeBron, pass it to LeBron. Who is that? Who is that? Oh my God, that was the worst possession. Wow, that was the worst possession I've ever seen. LeBron is folding, LeBron is choking, and he would now find himself down 3-1. But at the same time, he's been here before. It's not gonna be easy, but going into game four, he has a chance. Jordan has pretty much steamrolled his way to five G League championships. And out of the final three players that we could select from the board, we have Kobe, Magic, and Kareem. Kobe's on the board. I want Kobe. I need to see that matchup. I don't care. And that's that's perfect timing. Unbelievable. And going into the final season, Jordan will win MVP again. Clean sweep. Kobe wouldn't be too far behind, though, with averages of 46, 7, and 7. And as you would expect, the two would meet in the G League finals. But unlike any other series before it, Jordan would lose game one. It looks like Kobe's taking game one by four points. I probably could have jumped in, maybe. And even more unlike any other series, Kobe would take game two. Bro, I don't know why, but I feel like every time there's a close game, it's always followed up by a blowout. But game three would be played on Jordan's home court, and historically, he's been able to protect it. But much to my surprise, Kobe would go on the road and dominate again. He's up 3-0. Kobe had 55 points, but the most hilarious part, bro, 26 out of 27 free throws. Kobe's one win away from sweeping Jordan in the G League Finals. And in Game 4 on the road again, he would show out with 55 points and 8 assists. But it wasn't enough. And at that point, I think Jordan woke up. 51 points in Game 5. All of a sudden, the 3-0 lead is now down to 3-2. I don't know why. I Honestly, I wouldn't rule it out for 2K. Jordan might be able to come back. And if he is going to come back, he has a solid shot. He's down 3 with 20 seconds left in Game 6. I don't know who that is. They pass it back over to him. They pass it Jordan over to Martin for... Oh my God. Is that Cody Martin? Caleb Martin? He just, he just tied up the game. I swear, bro. If anybody but Kobe takes this shot, Kobe driving in. Shoot it over the double. I don't care. Who is that bro that's not even a real person that's not an nba player oh my god we're going to overtime no there's 0.3 seconds left i don't know bro i don't know i don't know what i expected there's no way he was hitting that jordan with the ball jordan driving in jordan fouled by kobe and one kobe has five fouls too they don't even pass it to kobe on this possession and it goes yep it goes about as well as you would expect jordan driving to the basket jordan with the dunk all right is he taking over is this is it happening he has 53 points Kobe driving all the way they send bro they are not letting kobe shoot the ball that is that's a little bit annoying but it makes sense but why aren't they sending a double team on jordan like i know yes kobe's a good defender but you might as well double him bro you might as well double him bro and Kobe fouled out. Eventually, Jordan would ice the game with some free throws, and the G League Finals would be heading to Game 7. Kobe's on the brink of blowing a 3-0 lead. I had a purpose. I wanted to be one of the best basketball players to ever play. And anything else that was outside of that lane, I didn't have time for it. It's a competition, and my, my mission is to destroy you. It's over, bro. It's over. It's over. They don't even have Jordan on the floor right now. Passes to Kobe. Please let him dribble out the clock. Like, who even... Who is Burr? You know what? I'm not going to complain. Kobe's the one to take down Jordan. And if you want to see a video where we put Luka in the G League and try to take him down with modern stars, click on the video on the screen.